Dr. Shaw coming to you from a place that you know pretty well. It is our front office. It is May 5th. I hope this video finds you doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're enjoying some of the nice weather that we've had. Uh, but more importantly, I want you to know we miss you. And uh, this time of year is especially hard because there'd be so much celebrating going on and unfortunately we don't get to see you. But like everything, we're going to do the very best that we can with the circumstances that we're in. Hey, speaking of doing the best we can, congratulations to our seniors. Most of them were done last Friday on May 1st. Awesome. So we're very proud of you. Congratulations. Some of our seniors are still working on finishing some classes. They will be done May 8th, which is this Friday. The other thing about May 8th for grades 9 through 11 is this is the, the last time the teachers will give new content or new assignments, right? So what that means is you've got a couple weeks to review, recover, catch up, fix those grades if you need to. So again, May 8th is the last day for new content, but you're not done. You still got a couple of weeks to get that grade where you want it to be, and I know your teachers are working with that and communicating with you about how to do that. Hey, speaking of congratulations, we've got a lot of shout outs to give. Um, we have two students, National Merit students, who received scholarship offers from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. Congratulations to McLean Ashmead, who received a scholarship for use at the University of Alabama. And congratulations to Rohan Gandhi, who received a college-sponsored merit scholarship to use at the University of Florida. We're very proud of you guys. Congratulations. Job well done. We also have three students who received Roswell Rotary Tom Zachary scholarships. Congratulations to Briley Kern, Sylvia Nelson, and Christine Webster. Also, we have a star senior. That's right, the Fulton County School District picks a senior every year to honor with a video on their website. So be sure to check it out. And our star senior this year is Giselle Martinez. So congratulations, Giselle, very proud of you and very well deserved. So if you haven't already, go to the website and check that out. Our school newspaper, Roswell Sting, was recently recognized by the Georgia Scholastic Press Association. Congratulations to Claire Mulkey as she received a recognition for superior feature for Ray's is Real Roswell, of course, Ray's Burgers, who doesn't love them. And they also got a rating of excellent for their school website. So congratulations to Ms. Volpert and all of our students who work on the Sting. That is a great job. Very, very proud of you. In athletics, we haven't had games for a while, but we have two students who received some recognition. Of course, Juliana Stevens, who is a swimmer that is committed to the University of Georgia, uh, has been recognized, or is in the running, I should say, um, for Female Athlete of the Year from WSB-TV. You get to vote, so go to the WSB website, vote for Juliana. That ends May 7th, so help Juliana win. Also, Annie Lesher, one of our senior soccer players, was recognized as the positive athlete for North Georgia for girls soccer. So congratulations to her. Great stuff. Very, very proud of you. Speaking of proud of, again, we're proud of our seniors. There's a lot of things going on for our seniors. Hey, listen, everything is now posted on the new Roswell website. So go to roswellhornets.org. Go to the website, go to students and families, and you'll see a tab under there that says celebrate the class of 2020. So what is going on, you say? Great questions. First of all, virtual honors night. That is the finishing touches are being put on that. You will see that in a couple of weeks. The plans for our drive through graduation on May 26th. Very excited about that. Had a meeting this morning with some officials from the city of Roswell as we plan it. Again, the idea on May 26th is you come on campus, you're in your cap and gown, you're in your car, you drive through, we give you your diploma cover and some other goodies, um, and at least you get a chance to come to the campus one more time so we can say goodbye to you and celebrate you. It's not the same as a regular graduation, but we're very excited about the opportunity to do this. So a lot of folks are making that happen. The virtual graduation, thanks to Dave Shapiro Enterprises, that is in the process of being filmed. It's going to be first class. It's going to be well done. It's going to be broadcast the night of May 26th, and then it will be uploaded for you to enjoy as often as you want. So we're looking forward to have that done. Um, banners and billboards are up. Of course, the class of 2020 banners in the front of the school. It's gorgeous. And also, we have billboards, two of them in the city, recognizing the class of 2020. Never done that before, but we're pretty excited about it. So job well done on that. Hey, listen, lots of great things going on. Check the website regularly. All the information you need is posted on there. Most importantly, be safe. And last but not least, this Sunday is Mother's Day. So be sure to honor mom and tell her thank you and you love her um, for all that she does for you. So again, it is Teacher Appreciation Week. Email your teachers. Hey, listen, Hornets, be safe. We miss you. Can't wait to get back to school. Can't wait to see you. But until then... We're going to do the things we need to do to hope this pandemic, work for this pandemic to come to an end as soon as possible. Thank you, Hornets.